Welcome to our next segment which shows how citizen journalism is effective for the citizens. Here we have a bus driver who sent in his plea asking if anyone had seen his bus which he believed had been stolen. In a very bizarre twist, he recovered his bus when authorities fined him $80 for illegal parking. Okay, what happened was he found out that he had received a summons for his missing bus. He hurried down the HDB to find out his location. Yeah. And yes, the bus had been abandoned there. Yep, we managed to contact the driver and this is what he has said. Now that we've heard from Mr. Hing, let's hear his son Jackie's account. Jackie was the one who spearheaded the plea online to search for the missing bus. And can you tell us how did you guys find out that you lost the bus? He was on a night home. Then he went to the car park because he has he has two bars. One is a big bus, then the other one is a mini bus. So he was he wanted to use the big bigger bus. He saw the he scout around the car park. Hey, how come you see the bus? Then he was shocked to see like was see the thing gone. Yeah. Then he was panicking, uh, like wondering, eh, hey, where did I park it? Came back. I was also shocked uh, because during that time he was supposed to be outside working. Uh. So I asked him, what happened? He said in the bus was lost. Someone drove it away, I think, mm -hmm. or someone stole it. Then in, immediately we took his motorbike out and he scout around the areas nearby for those uh, bigger car park for the he heavy vehicles. No sign of anything at all. So he went to make a police report. During the third or fourth day, we were losing hope already, uh, thinking of what, what else to do. So after you guys made the police report, right? So yes. the next step was to like start posting on forums or No, I because I suggested the post on forums because I see a lot of these things online. Sometimes you are browsing on forums, they have a lot of funny stories. Sometimes you wonder is, is it even real? And okay, you have to spread the news fast uh, in case like because we are thinking of the possibility that the bus was driven to Malaysia. So if Oh. The bus is at Malaysia, there's no sign of recovering. But some uh, track poster they will suggest, how about you post on Storm? Because mm. the track, the traffic amount of there is also not very little, so mm. it's better uh, it's better to like spread the story. So, but I, I told him, I didn't know how to use Storm. Uh, so he mm. helped me with it. Uh. Maybe the views hit is a lot. Uh. Some people are like having positive answer, but some people are just like making fun. Uh. So next time you encounter such uh, incidents, touch wood, or if you hear of such stories, what would you do? If maybe, if maybe I get to know of the story, I will yeah. definitely help. Uh. But across like strangers, I don't think so. Uh. Maybe someone, if someone I know, someone close to me, mm, yeah, okay. definitely I will send in the news again. Because mm, yeah. there are also several cases of uh, people losing their vehicles. Oh, okay. So, so that guy was wondering if I if I could post the story on Storm also. The toolbox has been ransacked and there were cigarette butts strewn on the floor. Mm -hmm. Wait, what I want to know is, will the eighty dollars be waived in this case since you know it was fine while stolen? I think that's what many stompers are wondering too. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. I think he just needs to appear. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now over at Woodlands, a stomper fears that the long tree roots protruding from this tree to damage the overhead bridge. <laughs> However, Sembawang Town Council replied to say that the wild plant was removed on the same day. Now this shows that Storm is effective in producing action from various agencies. Now what's amusing are some of the stoppers' comments. For example, someone said, Got time to storm, no time to cut down the plant. So ironic. Oh, here's something to note. Um, if you guys don't already know, the public can't actually remove these okay. plants, like, really? you know, just as and when they like it because they're all under oh. the jurisdiction of NPARCs and other uh, various agencies. So it's in the authorities' hands oh. if they want to remove it. Okay, well, now you know. Yeah. Next up is a story. Uh, do HDB flat owners own the land outside the flat? <laughs> now, this is a very perennial problem for HDB owners because, you know, they want to know extra square feet of the plot of land. Yes. Well, okay, in this case, a stopper saw a line of laundry hung out to dry at this HDB playground at Woodlands. And the town council alerted by this post has been has told the tenant about this and the laundry line has been removed. Hang on, does this really bother you? I mean, that someone hung their clothes out near the playground? Well, it might not bother you, but that's the way of how citizen journalism works, you know? You mm -hmm. get to understand about our society a bit more, find out what really annoys some, yet yeah, and uses others. 
<laughs> such an optimistic viewpoint. I know.